A common question we're often asked about Ruby's TX tile cutters is just what's the difference between the standard and the end version. From most respects, both models are exactly the same. They've got the same base, sprung bed, sliding breaker, scoring mechanism. All the differences are in the measuring bar system. OK, so starting with the standard machine, the rule is very short and it's fixed to the base. The lateral stops only intended to be used from the left hand side. Lock down with this lever. You can take it out and fit it on the other side. That hasn't got much reach. That's about as far as it goes. And the measurements are upside down too. And you can flip it over, just get a bit more reach out of it using it like this. It's still not far. Now it has got some facilities for doing different angles, but I really wouldn't advise to use them. If you look at the cut line here, it's impossible to cut point to point. And the braking foot actually impacts on the ruler. So that's not going to work. If you try flipping it around the other way, it's still not possible to cut corner to corner. If you look at the cut line, you can't use the ruler to set it. You can set repetitive pieces, but you'll probably only be able to cut the tips off of a tile. And there's no way to set it for cutting corner to corner. Here's an interesting thing. When you try and set this back to straight, the lateral stop crashes into the ruler. So you have to withdraw it and then reinsert it. All's not lost though. There is one way of doing it. It's like this. Adjust it exactly where you want it. And line it up. Moving on to the TXN. Straight out of the box, the rule is not fitted. There's a pin you fit into this hole. I'll just show you that from another angle push this plunger down, it locks it into specific angles. On this version you can set the lateral stop from either left or right for repetitive cuts. And the measuring bar just slides straight off the end. Now for diagonal cuts, you can rotate the ruler all the way around to a number of places right up to 45 degrees. It shows how it locks down. On this one, you can easily cut corner to corner. It just shows where the centre line is. It's important to line it up with your scoring wheel to make sure it is going to go corner to corner. And then once you've set it, you can set your stop. A 
if you want to, you can rotate it right the other way around. It will actually index in. I haven't shown that there. Then you can move the stop in. And the main stop won't move all the way into the middle. Otherwise it hits parts of the cutter. So you can slide the plate in. Another advantage of this is then the, the braking part won't hit the lateral stop. Because the plate's very thin. even with the foot dropped into the braking position. Something else you can do with this end version that you just can't do on the standard one is you can take the ruler completely out and put bigger tiles in. Now you might not be able to score all the way to the end but at least you could fit them in, possibly you could turn them round and score them from both sides. So it allows you to cut bigger tiles than you'd expect. So just to recap, the standard machine's got quite limited facilities with the ruler bar. You can only set the lateral stop from the left hand side. The angle part really isn't very useful at all. Uh, but the one advantage is it's quite compact, there's nothing really sticks out, it's easy to use in a small area. By comparison, the end machine has got a nice long ruler which can be swung round to different angles. You can set the lateral stop a good distance away from the score line on either side, which is a big advantage on large tiles. The one disadvantage is perhaps that long ruler bar does get in the way sometimes. Some of our customers buy a second ruler and then saw the ends off, allowing them to use the machine in a confined space. The end machine also has the advantage to remove the ruler completely, giving a longer cutting length. And out of the two machines, the end machine is by far the most popular. For full details about these machines like cutting lengths and pricing etc, head on over to our website, the link's in the description.